Hi, so today I'm going to talk about baby growth for babies um, 0 months to 24 months. And um, I'm using um, this particular chart. It's, for, it's from the WHO, so the World Health Organization. And it gives, um, it gives a very good overview on, on uh, weight and length of your baby. And um, it gives, so basically like, it um, allows you to, um, you know, to put in, like you can mark on this piece of paper, uh, how long your baby is and the weight, and you get a good idea on which percentile your baby falls into. And what, what a percentile means is basically, let's say if your baby is in the 19th percentile, it means that 90, that out of 100 babies, 90 babies are going to have to be smaller than that, and 10 babies are going to be bigger. All right. Uh, so basically, um, so this is that by the WHO, and uh, I know that, but in particular in Canada they use a very similar chart, and in Europe, I believe this is uh, in Europe this is the chart that they use. I don't know about United States or other countries. Like obviously, um, you know, some 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 cultures are going to have maybe smaller babies than others, depending on ethnicity, depending on you know like parent size and stuff like that. So um, uh, before I got this chart, I actually read quite a bit of um, blog postings and there were a lot of very kind of like very rudimentary questions asked by parents like oh my baby is this old and it weighs this much is this okay is it not i think what this chart really is helpful for is that um, you can do that type of work yourself like you can basically weigh your baby and you can measure your baby by filling in this chart for yourself you can have a good idea uh, on how how your baby is developing in terms of weight and length. For example, I'm not saying, oh, don't go to your pediatrician, but I'm just saying um, this is a good tool to use so that you can you can do your own tracking uh, for your child or for your children. And for example, um, you know, if, um, you know, like you can go to the doctor, obviously, like if you think that something is wrong, but if you're not the type of person to want to, doc to you know, either like to have access to medical care or let's say you just want to be more in control, uh, let's say you want to be more in control of knowing what's going on and of having a, an idea of how your baby is developing, then this is a really good tool that you can use to help you with that. So that being said, I'm going to go through this table and I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, so in this area here, this is this over here talks all about length, meaning like how long is your baby or like how tall is your baby. Okay, and then this area over here talks about the weight. So I'm going to talk about the weight first and then about the length. So the weight uh, in this column here, you have pounds or LB, and here you have kilograms. So depending on what you're using in your country or what you're more familiar with, then, you know, for example, my baby was born three kilograms, like, well, a little over three kilograms, but it was like 3.50 or something like that. So for example, you're measuring let's say if my baby was born on the 1st of January, so this is going to be 1st of January, then at the end of the first month, we're over here, so the month has expired, okay, so my baby is now on, on the 1st of February, my baby is one month old, so I'm going to follow along this line here, and let's say my baby was four point, and this is um, sorry, we're over here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So each one of these is 200 grams, right? So each one from here to here is, is like 200 grams. So here I know that uh, at the end of the first month, so on the 1st of February, my baby was about 4.2 kilograms, all right? Let's say, and then on, on, the, at, at, on the second month, so on the 1st of March, I don't have a recording, but let's say 1st of April, okay, so my baby is now three months old, and it is recorded as six, 200, 400, 600, so it's about uh, six, six and a half kilograms. So it goes, you know, birth three months, six months, this is nine months, 12 months, so this is one year old, and then 15 months, 18 months, 21 months, and 24 months. All right? Um, and this is the percentile, all right? Now, percentile, it can be a little bit confusing to understand at first, at least it was for me, uh, but this is the percentile. And what that means is if your baby is recording over here, let's go over here. So so at six, month, at six months old, my baby weighed just under eight kilograms, maybe like seven, seven kilograms and 800 grams, all right, over here. And this line here is in the middle of this whole thing, okay? 
So I can go over here and I can say, okay, it's in the 50th percentile. So what that means, again, is that if you have 100 babies and they're all the same age, um, if you're in the 50th percentile, it means that 50 babies are going to be bigger than your baby. 50 babies are going to be smaller than your baby. All right. So let's say, for example, um, okay, I'm going to go somewhere low. Let's say here, okay, at birth, my baby was three kilograms. So three kilograms is the line under here. So I'm going to follow it over here, 25. So my baby's at the time of birth was at the, in the 25th percentile, all right? So meaning that 75 babies born, let's say on that day, were bigger than my baby, and 25 babies born were smaller than my baby, all right? So this is what that means. But, but generally speaking, if you're anywhere in this zone here, your baby's fine, like you don't have to worry about it. So let's say your baby is one year old, and your baby is over here. Let's say weight's over here. So your baby is, let's go across, is seven kilograms and 800 grams. That's still fine, all right? I mean, you're gonna be on the lower spectrum, like you're gonna be, you know, in the lowest percentile, but you're not off the charts. And let's say if your baby is over here, we have 12 kilograms. Okay, so if at one, at 12 months, which is at one year, if at one year your baby weighs 12 kilograms, okay, you are at the 98th percentile, but your baby is still not overweight, like you are within the chart, okay? So that's what that means. And when I, when I also, when I weigh my baby, I can, I also take a note, for example, here, the weight was like a lot lower, uh, and I put on the chart, I was like, oh no, my baby lost weight for like four months, he actually dropped, like what's going on? Uh, but I put a note here that this this was actually after he had like a really giant poop and it was before he was fed which is not how the other ones were recorded and chances are that when you go like when you let's say record your day you know your, your baby's weight on the day or you go to the pediatrician and the way you know you probably are going to feed your baby before you go because you don't want him or her to be fussy and you know maybe your baby had a crop before that or maybe it didn't but in any ways be mindful of you know let's say did your baby just eat is it before he had a poop or, he, or she had a poop or is it after so it's just helpful to kind of you know if something is different it's helpful to keep a, you know just to take a note and then this chart over here is length or height of your baby so for example um let's say at birth so again this these vertical columns they're the same so you have birth three months six months nine months 12 months uh, 15 months 18 months 21 months and 24 months all right and um and then you also have something very useful here is you have it in inches and you have it in centimeters, okay? And then basically the same information here, they have put it on this side because obviously it doesn't fit or like you, the closer you get over here, um, you know, like you, you don't want to go all the way across or whatever. Um, so don't get confused by that. Like, let's say whatever is over here, the same thing, you know, they've put it over here. It, it just goes higher, right? I mean, in my mind, like maybe these could have been like two separate charts or something, but uh, that's how they have it organized. So let's say uh, at birth, my baby was 50 centimeters long, um, and that's fine. That's like in the 50th percentile. Then at one month, he had like a massive growth spurt, and he was, you know, he was 50, 56 centimeters long, and we're going one line over, and I can follow this, and I can see, okay, he's like in the 75th percentile, which is great. And then at three months, so I just double check, yeah, it's three months, go here, uh, my baby was 60, so, so these go 60, 65, so 60 months, 62, 63, 64, 65, so I know that at three months, my baby was 62 centimeters long, so again, really good, right in the middle of the nine, perfect, and basically what you're looking for is you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take your baby, you're gonna weigh it, and then you're gonna take a tape measure, and you're going to take the length of your baby, um, and just put it along the graph, and you want to be aware of like any, let's say if suddenly your baby goes, you know, like the land all of a sudden you're like in the 50 percentile and then in like a couple of months or something, it jumps up. I mean, obviously it can't really go down because once it's grown a certain size, your kid, you can't go down from it. Uh, but, you know, then let's say if, if you're here and then if you go up here, then you kind of, you want to, you want to make sure that this and this something somehow corresponds. So if your baby like really grows tall in a certain period of time, and if the weight drops for any reason, then you know you have some kind of an issue. And that's 
you know, that then you might want to talk to your pediatrician. But if you're pretty much like following along the line or like just kind of gently more or less following along the line, then you are really okay. I mean, let's say if, you're, if your baby is like, you know, following the 19th percentile, then you will kind of expect for the weight as well to fall along in the 90th percentile. Or let's say if your baby is like in the 25th percentile, but is going steady. And like, if the weight is also going more or less steady in the, you know, in the same percentile, then, you know, that's, that's all good. You have nothing to worry about. Um, there's one more thing when it comes to growth and that's not on here. And that's the head cir circumference. And what it is, it's basically, you know, the head of your baby, how like in centimeters or in inches, like you go around and that's, that's the circumference circumference of your baby's head but there's also other charts that you can get and i'm going to find the link and put in the description below that you can you know keep an eye on uh, or just kind of to know what percentile your baby is in and one more thing i should say is that this is for boys and there's like very similar chart to this and this and it's for girls and obviously if you have a boy you know you want to get the chart that's for boys if you have a girl get the chart that's for girls because girls are going to be a little bit smaller than boys and you don't want to kind of freak yourself out obviously using the wrong chart uh they're not that much off but they're still a little bit different like they're, they're you know different to each other uh and the other thing is you know, like you want to be consistent in the way that you measure your baby uh but when it comes to length i've actually seen three pediatricians using a different way to measure the length of the babies and that's not okay i mean i don't know why they would do that but i've seen them some use it kind of like measure it from the very bottom of the baby's foot which is how it should be done but others just go to the toe and like when you put the baby down if you measure it from the toe from the tip of your baby's toe all the way up to the head your baby's gonna appear to be longer than it actually is so it's not a bad idea to just, you know, if you're, if you're getting your thing, your baby measured at a doctor's office, like keep an eye and make sure that, you know, that they're using, that they're measuring your baby the way that you are also measuring him or her and plotting it down so that you don't get a mis like a lack of consistency in, in, you know, like in the length. Cause I mean, you may even get freaked out like, oh, my baby was, uh, uh, 60 centimeters long and then three months later it's like 59 centimeters well you know what your baby can't shrink so it's probably an issue of how your baby was measured so keep an eye out on how your doctor is measuring the length of your baby and also if you're doing that at home use the same method to make sure that you have consistency and um yeah that's that's basically it like there isn't too much to it other than like when i first got this chart like i even got confused and I was like, whoa, what? What am I doing here? Like, this is kind of confusing. But yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. This is the chart you want to be using from birth to two years old. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great tool as long as you use it right. And, um, and I mean, I, I also really think that it's important to use one of those because, uh, for example, there's, there are times in the baby's development that you start to do di things differently for example if you've been breastfeeding or giving formula up to six months then you start to introduce food somewhere like solid food some somewhere after this time and solid foods are supposed to be in addition to the breast milk that you're already giving your baby so if your baby's weight is starting to drop here then you know that something is not going right like maybe it's either not getting enough breast milk or formula or you know like something is not right with the foods that you're giving away so i hope that's been helpful i'm going to find the um the chart uh, for baby girls and put that in the put it put it in the link and in the description below and if you like this video give me some thumbs up if you want to see other videos on different subjects uh, please also put it in the in the comments below or if you're having trouble reading this for any reason and you have questions about it also um put it put it in the comments and i'll try and i will um answer your questions or concerns thanks a lot and uh please subscribe